because Winton and I grew up together in New Orleans. And I think what's missing for you all are opportunity, taking it out of the musical context, is the opportunity to interact with each other because X amount of years later, when Winton and I sit around and reminisce, we say, man, remember that dance at Xavier Prep? That was an all-girls high school. You remember that dance at St. Mary's Academy? <laughs> Or oh, you remember that time we were on the top of Gaylords, which was a great place where they had all these different type of social environments with peers. So I can only hope that this many years later for you, you will have the opportunity to speak to someone that you've been in touch with for so many years to say, remember that time we were at Essentially Ellington in 2018? And then you'll be able to pull upon that to remember some great experience that made you the persons that you will be at that time. And I, I just want to say, say one thing about this. It's, there's no such thing really as young people. I guess people are people. They're going to be young, then they're going to be old. Like when I think of young people, Tatum is young people to me. Carlos is young people. Chris Crenshaw is young people. Paul Nazella is young people. What do I think about young people? I love them. Young people who are sitting here, okay, you're a certain age, different types of seriousness. I've always, somebody always say you, the past was this or the past. Let me tell you, what my, to me, the past I was in was sad. I never thought, we got so many great musicians around here, and this is so great in these young people today. They just don't, I have never felt that. I feel like there's so much possibility in younger people. You're people. You're young now, you're 60. I thought I was, I, I was in publicity. I was 19 for 15 years. I was in my 30s, and they were still saying, 19-year-old trumpet player. <laughs> I stayed young for a long time. It wasn't until I started go going bald that I became old, <laughs> okay? But the thing about that is to be young doesn't mean anything. Now, once again, in a commercial environment, you are a market. So because you are a market, you're given the illusion that to be young means some type of power. <laughs> I never figured out what it was, except you could, your parents could buy something, and you eventually will buy those same things when you get a little older. But if you take just the creativity in this room, the intelligence, the amount of work, the dedication, the seriousness. I, I know that I'm going to cry three or four or five times in this festival from what people play. And I have to say, down through these years, when I look at my young people, Carlos, Tatum, Jason, they're young. Chris, young people are fantastic. And I, that's not the kind of, hey, young people. <laughs> that's saying, you know, young people... We have to provide a world for them so that they can become adults. A young person, a kid, is not going to lead the way. They never led the way, and they're not going to lead the way. And if you think they are, think of yourself when you were 16. Would you want your 16-year-old self leading your, your old self? No, you're not going to follow yourself as a teenager unless you've had a very rough time out here. So... Uh, I believe in the, in, the, in the creativity and the power of our younger people. I believe that we have let our younger people down. When I see problems in our culture, I believe there's problems. We've let them down because we've allowed ourselves to sell products to them and not take care of them and nurture them and give them the type of opposition they need to grow. You need opposition to get better. You know, and I feel that we're going to hear some fantastic things here in these next few days. And to me, you all are young people. You know, it's not every bad example is of young people, and good examples don't really count. So uh, the, the, the one challenge I see for them is the whole kind of giving over to machines. A human being is the greatest machine on earth, not something you're looking at or holding in your hand. The greatest thing you're going to encounter sits next to you or is around you. There's nothing greater than people. So invest energy in human capital. And that's all. Uh, that's what I think about that.